<clears throat> Hello everyone, today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to make a Hamachi Minecraft server for Ubuntu and other Linux distros. So, the first thing you wanna go, you're going to want to do is you're going to want to search up a program called Hamachi. All the links will be in the description. I'm just getting the link for myself right now. This link will be in the description as well. So you're just going to want to scroll down once you get to the Hamachi website. I have here this link in specific because it has the Hamachi for Linux beta. Although it's been in beta for a long time. Um, so when you press the show more, it'll show all these devs and TGGs and RDM, RPMs and stuff like that. So if you have a 64 bit version, you're going to want to pick the um, process you have and the. Um, yeah, so I have AMD 64. So you probably know off of uh, your information of your computer. If you don't already know it, then try looking it up on the internet. I'm not going to be covering that today because they only have so much time in a video. And I just want to get to the point. So you're going to want to download that. And you're going to want to open it up. And it's going to bring you to the software center. And you're going to install it. And blah, blah, blah. So once you're done with that, you're going to want to go to the internet again. And you're going to want to click another link in the description that's going to be called Hoguichi which is just a graphic, uh, graphical user interface for Hamachi because usually on uh, Hamachi for Linux it's all command line based. So once you're there you're going to want to find your distro. In my case I have Ubuntu which seems to be the simplest. All you have to do is put in this, com this command into the terminal and then once you're done with that you're going to want to open up Koichi and it's going to show a couple of things at first and you're going to want to set it up, and there's going to be some other stuff. So, yeah, and if you're, if you're having trouble getting to it, you're just going to want to search Gleechee in the store. And then, once you're done with all that, you're going to be pretty set. So, if, you're, if you want to set up a Minecraft server, which this tutorial is about, you're going to want to go to the Minecraft.net, and you're going to want to go to download it here, and you're going to want to get the Minecraft IGR, which is for Macintosh and Linux. All distros, pretty much. And you're going to download it. You're going to extract it to your desktop. And you're going to want to put it into a folder that's named whatever you want. I prefer Minecraft server just so I can remember what it is. Because I don't want to name it like blah, 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 blah. And I won't know what it is, and I'll probably throw it in the trash. So, <clears throat> I will open it. You will want to open it up. The first time you're going to start it up, um, don't worry about this stuff. I'm just making it so it's like the first time set up. So I should have probably already done this before the video, but I've been making a bunch of, version of this, versions of this. The first time I recorded, I didn't have my mic plugged in. I was just like, no. So you're going to want to open it up. You're going to want to right-click, open with Java, open JDK, runtime, blah, blah, blah. And then once you're done with that, it'll take a little bit, but it will open up. And then you'll see in your chat that there is a, you need to agree to the EULA in order to run the server. So EULA is basically just kind of like the rules and stuff. And you're going to want to locate your home folder, which is where pretty much all your Minecraft files are going to be. If you're having trouble and you want to move this to your Minecraft folder, there will be a different tutorial on that soon, hopefully. And... Locate your home folder, right click it, open with GE edit, and then you're gonna see this. You're gonna you might wanna read these just to see what's up. And then you're gonna wanna type in true instead of false and save it. <clears throat> so basically this is the same for Windows, but it's slightly different. Um once you're done with that, you're just gonna wanna open it again. And as you can see, it'll work. Also, if you're having a trouble, an error that says um, per, uh, Java uh, jar files are only restricted to certain permissions, you're going to want to uh, right-click the file, the jar, and you're going to want to press Properties, and then you're going to want to go over to um, Permission, and you're going to press Allow Executing File as a Program, if you don't already have that checked. So, as you can see, my server's over. And I'm going to open up Minecraft. Hopefully, it doesn't crash my entire computer when I exit out of full screen, like it does most of the time. And maybe 
I'll be lucky and we'll see. So this time it w I was lucky and I was able to exit out of there. It's only lagging because the screen recorder and when I'm in window it just just doesn't go together well. So this is uh, uh other server I was playing on. You're just going to want to add a server. We're going to name it whatever you want. I'm just going to put it to my server so I can remember whose server it is and then you're going to want to type in local host. I want you to download that. You got your Minecraft server. You can double click it or you can press the little play button. And as you can see, I joined in. And when you first set it up, oh, look, it's a little bunny. Um, hey there. Um, <laughs> uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type in op and then your player's name. And then, as you can see in the game, I've been opt. And I can go to creative and such and hack in stuff and build blocks. So. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate everyone that's watched this video, if anybody has watched this video. And thanks for watching. So if you're going to want to <laughs> also, uh, yeah, just, just press stop, type stop into the console when you're done. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye, YouTube.